All right, what is up guys? It's Archer Turbo here from the internet. Now today, we are going to reset the ISCV on a Rocket 3, um, which is also known as adjusting the TPS. So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need your bike. You're gonna need to put your battery on charge because you need to keep the voltage stable. You're gonna need a computer with Windows and two ECU on it, or you can have an Android device also with the app on it. You're going to need a Lonelec cable from lonelec.co.uk, the genuine one. Don't buy cheap imitation crap off eBay. Uh, it'll just cause you problems. If you're going to use your phone, um, you can use a Bluetooth connector. Now, I don't have that. Um, I just have a phone and an adapter with a USB Type-C um, adapter from normal USB, so I can plug this Lonelec cable in here. And we'll use that after. You're probably going to need to have a work light as well so you can see what you're doing. You're going to need a 7mm spanner for adjusting the idle stepper motor nut and you're going to need a T25 Torx or star bit. Now, uh, just to jump in here real quick, if you have a bit and a ratchet that will fit, this is your primary TPS by the way on your throttle bodies. Um, there's two sets of throttles just or throttle plates just in case uh, you didn't understand that so far. Um, you have the primaries, which is operated by your uh, throttle up there. And you've got the secondaries, which is actuated by a stepper motor in here. That is up here. This is the secondary uh, vein along here. They run along there. And the ECU operates those secondaries. So, in order for the ECU to know where the throttle um, valve is at any one time, it needs a position sensor. This is the primary throttle position sensor. And the secondary is in here somewhere, which we're not going to go near today. So in order to adjust this fella, you might be able to see here uh, the hole in the TPS with the bolt going through it. It's not just a hole, it's a slotted hole. So you can loosen this bolt and then rotate the TPS a little bit to uh, get it in the right position. So you're gonna need this guy. And if you're like me, your bit is too big to be able to fit your, sorry, too big to be able to fit your ratchet in here. What I do is I use a, this is a quarter inch drive bit. So I've got a quarter inch wrench for you Americans, or a spanner for England. <laughs> and uh, I use it to operate the bit like so. So that's the tools we need. So I'm gonna go ahead now and spin this guy around. And hopefully you guys can see what I see. So we are live and connected. It takes the windows like 10 minutes to connect for some reason. So I had that prepared earlier. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to have to go into the diagnostics. Sorry, I tell a lie. I made a screw up of that. We're in tests. We're going down here to adjust ISCV. ISCV is your idle stepper control voltage, I believe. So we're going to double click that. Adjust ECU or ISCV. Yes, I do. So it's saying adjust the TPS until you read 0.60 volts and then double click the adjust ISCV again. I got 0.56, maybe 0.57. Um, now this bike idles perfectly, no problem at all, starts hot and cold, no issues whatsoever with the idle. So I'm loath to go near this while it's working okay, but for the benefit of the audience, I'm going to go ahead and adjust that to 0.60. So what I need to do is Loosen this bolt here. Until I can move the TPS. So I've loosened the bolt now, I've got 0.55 at the moment. So I'm gonna go ahead and rotate this fella in one direction. I'm gonna go ahead and rotate it clockwise and see what happens here. It increases the voltage when I rotate clockwise. So the 0.61, I let go and it goes back to 0.58. So I'm going to need to push on past. There, I got 0.60 now. So I'm going to go ahead and tighten it down there. Now it might move it a little bit when I tighten it down. I forget what the spec is on this torque spec, but I think it's like 9 newton meters or 5 or something very light. It's only a little pinch like that. It's got a spring washer on it to keep it from moving, so it should be okay. Okay, I got 0 0.59, 0 0.60 there. That's, I'm gonna go ahead and accept that. 
So I'm going to double click here again. That's not bad. Just wait a moment. The idle stepper is a uh, primary idle stepper is, or sorry, the primary throttle stepper, which is the idle stepper, is moving around. Let's move back again. So I'm going to get my seven millimeter spanner. I'm just going to adjust a little bit just to show you guys how it's adjusted. But this is our idle stepper here, and this is the little arm which pushes out like that, and it pushes this fella here, which moves the throttle up here. Now the little nut is in here. So what you have to do is go in here, get the nut. I'm going to go ahead and rotate it up the way a little bit. And go up one, moving it there, and moving it there. And what did that do to my voltage? I got 0.72, almost completely steady now. I'll go a little bit more just to show you. So adjusting it up the way, as in clockwise, Increase the voltage again. Oh. 0.72, and that is nice and steady. So I'm going to go ahead and double click again. And this is what happens. it complete I'm just gonna hang on now so you can hear and see what's normal that's it done that is it now just to show you I'm gonna go ahead and grab some throttle here oh I've become attached to my spanner so what I'll do is this is my Sorry, that's my tachometer. I need to change screens here. And my throttle position here. See TPS here, percentage. So right now we're on 0%, throttle is closed. If I grab a fistful of throttle, as they say, fuck you, and I go wide open throttle, I got 94% throttle. And that's how that works. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, just for uh, those of you who are wondering if you don't have Windows or you want to use your Android device, I'm going to go ahead and uh, open up this guy. Excuse me while I type in my code. And I'm going to go ahead and close down this guy. We're done here. And I need to open up this guy. Where are all these people? Go away. And I want to take out my USB. And plug her in here. Now this is much faster. The Android, which is currently supported, will cost you like 10 or 15 quid to buy. Depending on your currency. The Windows version is free, but it's it stopped the Windows, or version 2.5.8. So, I need to go into ECU here. Um, if anyone wants to know how to navigate this, you swipe sideways. You get all your sensors there. Swipe sideways, you get adjustments. Swipe sideways again, your dashboard. Then you're into your map. You have fuel table one, fuel table two, fuel table three. L1, L2, L3, I1, I2, and so on through your things. And you can also go to the left. Going off on a bit of a tangent here and you got your trims, your fuel trims. But anyway, we're not going to do any of that today. We want adjustments. So we're going to go ECU, connect. And the flashy light down here. So it connects in seconds, like literally almost straight away. Windows version takes a bit longer. So we're connected now, we've got the green light. So what we're going to do here is we're going to into ECU, um, just for the crack. 
There's some information on my bike, on my ECU at least. Error codes, I have none. Testing adjustments is where I want to go. So these are all your different tests where you can run tests on stuff. So if, for example, I can go radiator fan, engage. Okay, sorry, just going off on a bit of a tangent here. I'm just playing around. I really should just be focusing on the uh, TPS adjustment. So we need to go into adjustments here under test devices. And you've got a couple of options here. We're just going to stick to idle speed control adjustment. We're going to go ahead and run that. And there we've got pretty much the same as what I had on the computer, 0 0.59, 0 0.60. So I think that's close enough. I'm going to go on next. Now watch. I have 0.12 of a fold difference between the two positions. Which are the calibration positions for the ECU to know how to control idle speed and that. And know the throttle percentage as well which you're giving it with your wrist. Um, and that's the important thing. You can have 0.56 and 0.68 and our bike runs just fine as I, I just proven with my bike. But I'm gonna add and adjust it as close as, reasonably close to what it should be. It's, it's almost there. So we're gonna go next. So this, it's the same thing in just navigating different in the uh, app. But the mechanics are still the same. Okay. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to close down this laptop. I'm going to sit this guy right here. Like that. What the hell just happened there? Some Bixby crap. <sighs> so what I want to do is I want to go into I don't want sensors. Don't want adjustments. I want my dash. No. You can never remember which is which. This is the one I want to send on to tree. I'm just gonna show you throttle balance while we're at it. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug out my charger. Bye bye. And we're out of gear. And go ahead and start it up. See, it runs really good. 